Sorry, uh, Sean, continue. No, that's great. And then one other final thing that happened today, just at the very, very end, uh, the DA is changing around the charges a little bit. What Taxstone is charged with? Wait, wait, okay. <laughs> before you, before yeah. you continue, do you know? Did, did you find out what it, uh, exactly? So you could, you know, just inform the people. Originally, what was he charged with, and versus mm -hmm. now, what did he add on? Sure. There's, there's two aspects to this. He, so it's not like they're taking any charges away. They're just adding more on. Okay. So he's already charged with murder two murder in the second degree. And now on top of that, they're adding a lesser charge of manslaughter in the first degree. So that means manslaughter in the first degree means he intended not necessarily to kill a person, but to cause serious physical injury, but instead he caused death. That's the manslaughter one. So that's the charge they added on as a sort of lesser charge. Um, now, it should be noted that this also is something that Kenneth Montgomery objected to vehemently, uh, basically saying, look, you've had this whole time to set up that he killed someone intentionally. I don't want you to come in at the end and say, oh, he only meant to hurt someone, but he killed him and give the chance a jury to give it, you know, the jury a chance to say guilty on that. Um, unfortunately, he didn't have a legal leg to stand on. And ultimately he admitted that the judge, the way the law is set up, if either side asks for a lesser charge on top of the bigger one, it has to be included. If the judge says, look, you can, this is plausible. Maybe you can read the evidence this way. If either side wants it, it has to be included. So the prosecution wanted it. So now there's going to be a manslaughter one in the first degree charge in addition to this murder in the second degree charge. Um, the state also added a second degree assault count to every first degree assault count. So basically the state is trying to say, look, even if he didn't, you know, assault people in this way under this definition, here's a few more definitions of assault, you know, that you should see if he did it that way or not. And there was some big discussion about different definitions of assault too and what it means and how many of the def different definitions should count. That was a little bit over my head and that is sort of still to be determined. Basically, it seems like the state is adding a bunch of charges that may make it more complicated for the jury. And so that's sort of interesting too, right? Do, do this, does the state want to make it simpler and maybe take a chance that the jury won't necessarily think that the definitions fit what tax did or do they want to risk confusing the jury and inclu including a bunch of definitions that maybe they can vote yes on but maybe they get a little bogged down you know did he do it this way or that way or did he intend this or that and they just kind of throw up their hands and it's a mistrial or something so a lot we'll see how this plays out uh i think on tuesday uh, we'll find out after the closing arguments, the judge is going to deliver the final charging statement where he says all of the counts and all the law. Um, I've sat through those before. Those are really long and boring. <laughs> but I would say the main thing to keep in mind is that the short version is the state is adding more charges. And if I'm tax stone, I'm upset at this because what this means is the jury has more potential interpretations of what he did to say, to vote guilty on.